<laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. Oktadok. Ok this is our secret place. Doc we can't Oc. tell anybody. <laughs> Doc Oc. <laughs> Doc Oc. Literally. Dr. Octavius. <laughs> Dr. Octavius. That's I'm going to wear this hat all the time, man. It's freaking epic. <laughs> so, <laughs> me and Doc, we're in our man cave right now. It's mm -hmm. secret. Mm -hmm. And this is the stuff we have accumulated so far. It's not much, but I think it's good enough. It's a nice start. Uh, yeah. Doc has his... Uh, magic smelter here i'm gonna call it because i don't really know how it works you can explain <laughs> it's a tinker's construct um smeltery i built that up already and you started with industrial craft stuff right yeah for the yacht pack yeah so we can <clears throat> get out of our man cave easily <laughs> yeah this is uh, <laughs> yeah we got chat packs already by the way yeah we are we are already getting there we are got grenades yeah, we yeah, got so grenades, we baby. We are prepared. In case you don't know, I mean, this is my first episode. Um, yeah, it's war on here. Um, we're using the mod pack, especially created for that. There's lots of weapons and all kinds of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Feed the beast revamped, basically, but war. And this is spawn, around spawn, somewhere around spawn. We can't really tell exactly where. <laughs> but somewhere <laughs> around spawn. <laughs> and yeah, this is our man cave. This is the stuff that cannot be touched right nobody can destroy that um it's basically safe here very safe yeah oh man i just kind saw there's nuclear cluster missiles <laughs> 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 that's why i i paused i was like oh my god <laughs> shock so yeah um here's the place where we can quickly gear up and get our stuff together um in case something happens and yeah stuff cannot be touched and I wanted to make Anders, you know, to celebrate our first episode and to celebrate our Team DNA <laughs> epicness, I wanted to make Anders um, his he, first he, epic weapon for the yeah. <laughs> server here. Doc so, promised a super epic weapon. I can't, I can't wait to see this. Let me see. Let me switch out my, my tinker thing here. Okay. Pouring. See that? Ooh, it's forged right in front that? of your eyes. Boom. What's that? And that's the first plate we got on it. Now I'm going to make you a handle, my friend. Okay. It get... looked kind of roundish. No, no, it's good. It's good. It's all good. Don't worry. Okay. Now... Is it like a skite? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, it's all good. You will enjoy it. It's the best weapon ever. Wait, I need to assemble it now. Hmm. I'm, um... I'm getting suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. You it's didn't really be... explain anything It's going to be assembled now. <laughs> And boom! Okay, it's done. <laughs> oh, Here you whoa, go. I heard like a cool sound. The frying pan? <laughs> Hit me! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> what the? Oh, I had an effect. Hit me again. What is that effect? Yeah. Slowness. It slows me down, man. Oh. So, so it stuns people. Uh huh. And I now guess. shift click on the floor. Shift right click. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Now we can fry stuff in there. You can cook your stuff. If that's not the best Viking weapon you've ever seen. Oh then. my god. I love you. Give me a bro hug. Mm. A little kiss for the Viking. <laughs> so yeah, just break that's it, amazing. you know. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, you can have a look right here. If you click on the, uh, on the middle thingy, um, those mm -hmm. are the basic oh. weapons, you know. That could okay. be made already. Frying but, pack. yeah, while you look at that, oh. mm -hmm, I was about to make the the better the better crafting table thingy. Reaper. Okay. Starch, nude. Oh, man, this looks cool. Two oh, forge. a matlock. Uh, uh, yeah. That's like a pirate axe. Yeah. Hatched. Oh, shovel, pickaxe. Good stuff. Broadsword. Mm. Oh, longsword. I like that. Mm -hmm. Chisel. Oh, what about you do with the chisel? Battle mm. sign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell? Oh, that's going to be a present for Seas. Yeah, and look over here. I just made that. And um, there's the tool forged. Those are the advanced tools. Oh. You know? So you see, there's all these parts. There's, that's the oh. thing. Oops. Battle axe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the cool thing is you can then make casts um, with this forge here or with the smeltery and then, you know, basically create anything uh, out of, you know, I can even smelt an obsidian and make you an obsidian battle axe and then you Ooh. can upgrade the stuff. So that's the Tinker's Construct and we're going to definitely use that for our basic weaponry. You really, know, really cool. Yeah. That, I like that. Okay. Make so, me a frying uh, pan too. Let me hit you. I don't want to test it real quick. Yeah. Are you yeah, slow? Slowness for five seconds, I think. Nice. 
Yeah, doesn't do much damage though. Yeah, I know, but um, I got a pretty good. Oh, by the way, <laughs> look at this, uh, Lenis Hermes Rusty Cursar. I'm breaking three, magic resistance three, protection three, unstable two, feather falling four. Pretty badass. I got wow. it from a zombie actually. Yeah. And. Uh, Enchanting table and anvil, of course. This I, I found in uh, one of uh, kind of like dungeons, I guess, yeah. like big ass dungeons. I think we should really go cool. and show them how one of those looks like later yeah, on. Most definitely. And oh, yeah. in here is my industry craft room. It's kind of pitiful right now mm. because it takes so much time and energy to get all of this stuff. Uh, but this is so we can charge our jet packs and also. Uh, m macerate some of the stuff we find, like gold and, and coal dust, and uh, also make rubber and similar. It's going to be a lot more machines in here later. Yeah, and those things more also work well together. You know, the the yeah, Tinker's construct and the uh, and the industrial craft. We can yeah. link them later on. Um, but yeah, basically this thing is is, is just to get quickly up and running we're gonna extend it and make it better but we yeah. don't want to go all out you know building these crazy machine arrays and all this stuff we did before oh, yeah. that's going to be part of it more in the background mainly it's about war yeah and war, war. needs grenades <laughs> war needs grenades I'm so let's tempted. go somewhere and try them out bro. yeah let's okay so we need to leave out. the man cave we cannot show you the exit yet exactly so, so we'll you on see the you guys on the surface all right guys um, now I'm here alone. Anders had to go. It's uh, the next day, basically. And yeah, we threw the grenade that made the server crash. <laughs> and yeah, I need some slime rods. And I got more grenades now. And now things should be fixed. And I want to try out my hand grenade on the slime here. So let's do this. Oh, snap! Why did it land over there? That was not real really precise aha well that didn't really damage the slime come on hmm well that's so much for hand grenades yeah. Ooh. crap Crap! Crap! Oh, that sucked. Ah, oh, that sucked. Freaking creeper. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, I'm gonna uh, rush back to the place. I just need slime, man. I was waiting there forever. I've been doing a lot um, in our man cave, preparing some more stuff, and I want to make me an epic tool today. And yeah, so I guess uh, see you in a sec when I made it back to my death point. Mm. All right, we got our stuff back. We had a gravestone there. If you break that with a pickaxe, um, some of your items will be retrieved. I think it's the items you have in the hot bar, or it's random. I'm not quite sure. Um, I also have a frying pan here <laughs> to stun people. And yeah, okay, so here was the latest death. We'll keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I need to get more slime balls, so I basically have to wait until it's night time and spawn me more in. I haven't find one, uh, found one of these slime islands yet. That would be, of course, the perfect solution. But, well, what is that? Ah, Ars Margica stuff. I definitely need to get into that, too. I saw some pools around. There's these bluish pools, I think, over there. This one there. That belongs to the Ars Magica mod. And you have to do something right next to it, and then you can unlock uh, the first stages of Ars Magica. Maybe you guys know, and you can tell me down in the comments. Well, um, in any case, what is that? Ah, Witchwood. That's also Ars Magica. I'm leaving the tooltips on for a while now, you know, on top of the screen there. It will help us to yeah, learn stuff easier. Um, at some point, I will turn it off. Um, because it's a bit in intrusive in the screen, but I don't find it too bad. It's actually pretty helpful to have this information. So yeah, I'll stick around, wait until night time, and um, 
I will try to get another uh, slime or two spawning in so we get a bit more slime balls. I also want to show you there's these crazy blue creepers. Let them blow up. <laughs> wow. You saw that? That's some kind of crazy wormhole, I don't know, singularity blast. Do it. Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. Whoa. <laughs> ah, we're getting close to spawn, but those things are crazy. Okay, guys, we are back in the man cave, and <laughs> yeah, I've been really busy around here, or the team DNA cave, you could call it, or our starter cave. I've been to the nether, um, getting blaze rods, doing all kinds of stuff, mainly because I wanted to get a coke oven and a blast furnace up and running, and yeah, we've got that completed. The coke oven, yeah, it's already full with creosote oil, um, I need to take that out. That's a pretty good oil you can do a lot of stuff with that um, let's quickly look it up um, Creo here that's the oil okay what yeah we get it from here what's the utility for it ah, okay you can use it in a carpenter all right I think it's like seed oil or something, which is pretty useful. All right. Well, it's a byproduct. I have to yeah, get it out of there and store it. You can do that with pipes and all, but yeah, there's no automation yet. And um, blast furnace, I'm making cold coke with that, uh, which burns four times faster or better than um, yeah the normal coal. And then I put iron ingots in here and cook them and make them into steel and the steel then goes into my hopper here which leads into my uh, Tinker's Construct smeltery and yeah I got molten steel in there, I got molten gold, I got molten iron you know the good thing about that is it's a 2 to 1 uh, ratio so if I put iron ore in there it will smelt it down in a 2 to 1 ratio and I will get 2 ingots from it which is really cool um, yeah I also added some some cold coke here to our generator that makes things a little bit more efficient for now. Four times better bird time, as mentioned. And yeah, I've been preparing here quite some stuff. Um, you can see this is my casting table and I have a stone plate in there. And here's some molds I made. A hammerhead, um, a tough rod cast and uh, a large plate cast, a tough rod cast. Well, you first have to make a tough rod and yeah, with the uh, stencil for it and then you can do it and yeah um, I wanted to make me a pretty cool steel hammer steel is a really really nice material um, there's different modifiers um, about stuff first of all uh, let's quickly look at the table here and it's gonna be this hammer it's uh, in our tool forge and yeah that's pretty pretty cool 3x3 three three hammer and if we use steel and um, we can have a very very long durability the durability of that hammer is made up um, of the plate the head and this plate it's all added together and then um, multiplied uh, divided by three um, so you get an average and uh, yeah then you can have a tool rod modifier and slime has a pretty good modifier um, and yeah so the tool rod is not affecting the durability but it's a modifier here and later on you can put additional amplifiers on there um, but yeah for now I need to make me finally with the slime I got some some more stuff um, I think the recipe was like that we need to make us some slime crystal or something wait let me see yeah slimy mud we need and the slimy mud needs to be cooked and that will give us slimy crystals I think and with that we can make rods okay so I will cook that up real quick and then we'll see how that goes Let me see if it works yeah okay slime crystal we need that for the tough rod or for our handle we wanna make 
Oh yeah, my Viking friend Anders just showed up. He's getting busy, he wants to build some more machines. He was really happy I made the blast furnace. And yeah, he wants to make a machine uh, <laughs> to work with the oil. Merciless killer, he just chopped the head of a pig, man. Well, in any case, here is our slime crystals. And now... We want to try that out. Let's see. Um, this is the tough rod pattern. And we need to put it in here. And we're going to make us, yes, a slime tough rod. Okay, it costs three. Sweet, that was success. Um, I'd say I'll put the, um, that up here. I have a bunch of my things up here. Okay, so now we got our tool rod. Let's quickly look again at our assembly station. Um, the tool forge, better say. So we need two face plates and a hammerhead. Over here, um, I have the face plate made already. Let me p quickly put that away. That was our base pattern to create the stuff. Um, what? Why didn't I get it? <laughs> okay, let's put it away. It was just uh, to make my mold and here I actually got the mold already made out of gold and we need two of these so let's put that in here and we want to use steel for the hammer it's hopefully gonna be pretty pretty strong then um, the modifier for the slime is 1.5 the handle modifier so should be good so all right let's select molten steel I think it's gonna take up nine ingots so we should be cool Okay, let's turn it on and cast some steel. Sweet. You know I like that. <laughs> steel. I'm going to make a hammer for Anders too. I mean, he's Swedish. He needs a nice Thor hammer. All right. Here we go. We made a large steel plate. Um, with steel, we can mine everything. And it has a very high mining speed of 8. And yeah, we can... Um, it's mining capability of 4. Which means we can... Um, mine diamond and all so let's get this second face plate done here okay or second plate large plate okay that's good now last but not least we need to use the hammerhead cast okay and put some steel in there let's quickly look how much that took Six. yeah it's gonna use up all the Ah, it took eight. Okay, eight to make. Sweet. Now we got the hammerhead. Okay, let's assemble our hammer. That was these two plates. A hammerhead and a tough rod. Yes! Durability of 10,000. Mining level cobalt. We, that's like, that's epic. Three modifiers remaining. Mining speed eight. It's reinforced. Yes. Mm hmm. Reinforced, that means it uh, lasts longer. Now, um, you can have modifiers um, on stuff. Um, wait. Stencil table, tool station. Modifiers. Do I have to do it here? What is that? Repair and modification. Yeah. Okay, now I could put the tool in here and could have different modifiers on there. I think, um, for example, um, Emerald is really, really good. Um, but I will look up some modifiers and yeah, we can also put Redstone on there and so on. And yeah, I'll look that up and then we'll be back and we can try out our Epic Hammer and see how good it is. Alright, sadly, I just look, we don't have an emerald yet, we need to find one first, but um, yeah, I can also put one modifier on there, and another modifier I want on there is a ball of moss, let me quickly show you that, um, ball of moss, here we go, um, I need mossy stone for that, I need to figure out um, if we can produce mossy cobble here with the water trick, hmm, how did that work again? But in any case, I would need nine mossy cobble and then could make a ball of moss and with that um, I could modify. Uh, the ball of moss would uh, bring her self-repair to my hammer, which would be really nice. But And yeah, um, emerald will basically, um, yeah, plus 50% durability. 
So if I put uh, Emerald on there as a modifier, that would be pretty, pretty epic. We can even increase our durability further. But yeah, another modifier that can be put on is Redstone. And yeah, per Redstone you add, you can um, increase the mining speed. It adds, uh, adds haste, basically. Um, so yeah, we can add up to, I think, 50 to it. have to do it individually yeah looks like it or can I do it like this no okay you see the mining speed goes up with each redstone I add and I can pump in up to 50 right now I have uh, three modifiers remaining but you can also add um, d uh, different things to get more modifiers um, so yeah I'm gonna put the redstone on here up to level 50 and then we can try out our hammer here and see how we can mine with it should be pretty good has an attack of three hearts mining speed 9.19 and it's mining level cobalt that's it's pretty epic this is gonna be our tool it's gonna mine out three by threes if I'm not mistaken so yeah in any case um, I'll keep doing this here for a while and then we can try out our epic hammer and see what we can mine with it. All right, we cranked the mining speed up to a level of 12, it says now. If you look at it, let's quickly put that in there. Mining speed 12, it was 8, 50 pieces of redstone in that thing. Um, I better put the redstone back, maybe Anders needs some of it. Okay, so... What is there? Let's try that bad boy out. I'm gonna go into the cave here. And, um, oh yeah, we can go mine a bit. Oh yeah, this is where Anders has his wiring later on. Huh? He's cleaning up stuff. Okay, let's do this. Um, how deep are we? Oh no, I cannot look. <laughs> we must keep the coordinates secret. Okay, we wanna go down further a bit. This is looking good here. Okay. Yeah, there's some coal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. There's a spawner. Spider spawner. Random. Oh, lose your head. <laughs> Holy cow. What you Look at this conga line. Can he also lose his head? Oh, doesn't look like it. Where did they all come from? <laughs> nice. Got a spawner here. That's pretty decent. Okay. Oh, man. Mining out three by three super fast. <laughs> I'm loving it. That's pretty nice. Is there another spawner on top or what? Whoa. Lots of zombies there. That's <laughs> so cool. You can chop off the heads. Let them bleed out. No, that is bad news. Whoa. Quite a lot. Baby zombie. <laughs> oh man, I love it that. Man, this should be in Minecraft that you can chop off limbs. That is so cool. This should be in the game always. Okay, let's let's Can you chop off heads of spiders? No we can't. What was all the zombies up there? Oh yeah. Zombie spawner. Wow, that's pretty cool. <gasps> well, now it's not so cool. Let's troll Anders a bit. Come on, come on. <laughs> Where is he? He must be over there. <laughs> come on. 
So that's pretty decent. We found two spawners there right away. Oh, you sucker. Ow. Wow. Whoa. Well, that sucked. Dang it. <laughs> they were strong. <laughs> you had a sword. <laughs> You always underestimate how much <laughs> damage these suckers can do if you're not wearing diamond. <laughs> yeah, completely forget. So let's look around a bit more with our hammer here. Try to mine a bit and hopefully don't die right away. What is that? Copper orberry bush bush okay and but this is pretty good that's one of the best mining tools I've seen you know outside mining lasers of course um, they are pretty badass that is of course sure and this just came in here too yeah that's the ravine Okay, let's check back there, as if we haven't had enough, right? There was a chest. Uh -huh. Well, you can't get it when you don't kill the zombies. Uh, the zombie spawner. It's actually pretty cool to have a nice zombie spawner right here around the corner. Don't want to lose it. Hmm. Uh. Oh, you dang thing. Oh, hate you. Okay. Um, that's crazy. So, random spawn of a... Um, of a spawner... But with chest below, you can't access this if you not break it. Alright. Just want to get back there and, and see what it is. Need to get some light at that spawner. So it's cool. Okay. Let's see. Let's get this torch here real quick. Man! There's more! Freaking horde! We chopped off his arm. <laughs> Can we chop off a leg? No. Jesus! No, 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 no. Too much zombies. Way too much zombies. What? Ha. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Books and stuff. Nice horse armor. What an egg. Skeleton spawn egg. Nice. Name tag. Okay, let's grab that too. Okay, and horse armor. Whoa, I'm out. We don't need the horse armor, we got a bunch of it. And it's only um, golden, so it's not really as much. Maybe I could smelt it down. Hmm. <laughs> the C badge joint. Nice. Okay. Pretty cool guys, eh? with the hammer here we are equipped, we got our basic setup up and running and this is going to work now um, in here. I wanted to go to um, fortune, nice fortune books, we like that. Can we put ba standard enchants on these things in addition? No, just wanted to try and we got another name tag, we got quite a bunch of it. Six. 
Okay, let's put that stuff in here. All right, blue to pass, slime. Well, things are coming together here. We're getting ready, prepared for war. Um, you wanna, you know, really move on quickly. Um, as mentioned, Anders is gonna work now and uh, set up more industrial craft stuff. I have my hammer now. Um, I definitely uh, need some more modifi uh, modifiers on that. Um, so I want to put emerald on there so it has more durability and I want to get one of these balls of moss. I'm hoping um, Anders is yeah, doing a lot of caving and hopefully coming across a dungeon or so. Um, I need to tell him that if he sees mossy he definitely needs to bring it. And if not, um, how was that again with the water? I think it's too bright in here. But wasn't it possible to do it like that in the old Feed the Beast pack? I'm not quite sure how that setup was with the moss growing mossy, but it had to, it needed to be dark or so. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Maybe you guys know and can tell me in the comments. That would be much appreciated. And yeah, other than that, um, now um, it's Sunday and I'm off to Berlin on Monday. Um, hopefully I can get some videos done. Um, I was able to record a lot yesterday, was awake um, really long, so maybe there's something uh, prepared for you need to render, but yeah, looking good. I hope you enjoyed the first episode here of the Feed the Beast, I tried to make a lot of progress here in the first episode and yeah, get some things going already, and I'm thinking yeah, this hammer here is pretty cool already with inbuilt haste, and we can mine 3x3 three three areas pretty fast and yeah. What more do you want? Do you want, right? And you can hammer people with it. I just need some better gear now. Hopefully, Anders gets our quanti quantum suits up and running quickly. So yeah. In any case, leave a like for this first episode. Show some love. Give this season a nice start for me. Would be much appreciated. You know, always motivating if you guys um, show some love. Um, if a new series starts. All right. So see you next time. I'm out. <laughs> Bye.